was under the bed last week, y'all. We back, dude. Mm-hmm. You hear me? That weather caught up with C, man. Yeah, man, I was moving around a lot. Just came back from Ohio, man, with the <laughs> girls. Oh, yeah, congratulations on uh, that. Even though y'all ain't win, but y'all did man. good. So, look yeah, good. we did good out there. We 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 played tough. Went three and three. I'm gonna say weekend. you just ain't got no big girls, dog. Yeah, I ain't, you we, ain't we got, got no big you, girls. Small dog. man. What's up with your recruiting, bro? I want to ask you, like, when you gonna go recruit one of them? I don't recruit. When you gonna go get something out, Kenna, and add her to the team because she's six nah, foot. I mean, because Kenna ain't got no six foot seven grades. That's Damn. why. <laughs> he got to recruit. Seat, bro. All the seven, I got to recruit you a big girl. All ages in the state. You know so. what? Your Kalani Brown. <laughs> we got some guards and we we scrappy, but oh yeah, they we don't got have no we don't have no height no like that. Nope. We go playing these elite teams with all this height and good girls. It'd be tough. Before we get into that Phoenix, though, one question about that: How is the circuit? How you feeling the circuit? But uh, with my the, girls, with your girls, the circuit, like you know, I like it, man. It's a good experience to see, you know, what's out there to see top talent on. On a level, you know, I played ball and when I did get out of town, Orlando, or the few places I went in AU. Basically, it was the South. You saw Amari Stoudemire, you saw these, you know, uh, Darius Washington, all these soon to be NBA, NBA players, players and shit. Now, doing it with these girls, I didn't try. I didn't travel way more than with my girls than with myself playing so. ball. But no, didn't you? Didn't y'all win nationals when y'all went forty five and no? That was Wichita, Kansas, dude. Y'all did no, go to no. That, no, was, y'all that was it's called the international championship because some girls come from China and play. But that was really like a state thing, you know, Louisiana. We went undefeated, bitty. But the the, the championship. But y'all did called, go to Kansas. No, uh, the boys go to Kansas. I was is, I was in Lafayette. Uh, yeah. I was in Lafayette. Uh, you know they be having girls from China come, two three age groups from China come and play. That's why it's called the international championship because and they be playing too. They could ball them no, girls look, from China. I remember, remember when I, I don't know if these people are still around. Remember when we was young? Why BOA was out? Remember YBOA? Yeah, YBOA. Well, now yeah. YBOA the was an international. Right now. Yeah, YBOA always had international teams. Because, like, when I played YBA, we played against Jamaica. I remember that. Like, you know, when I'm 12 or something, YBOA, we played, uh, we played against Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember that. But, nah, I don't think YBA, YBOA got 16s or nothing. So I ain't sure. I think YBOA stopped at 14 or something. Something with YBOA. Not sure. It don't, Not sure where don't, they stop at. Yeah. yeah. I don't think like seniors be playing YBOA or nothing. I don't really remember that. Yeah, what do you mean? Seniors really don't play. You know what I mean? Going into your senior Going into your senior year, yeah. Yeah, yeah going into your, your last, senior year, yeah. but I don't never see that. Like, really, I thought it ain't exist no more, but you see it's going on right now. Yeah, it isn't. Lil Pat and all them out there in, um, in Florida. That's in Florida. Yeah, that's where the YBOA be at. Florida, you hear me? But uh, to this NBA, bro, with the Suns, it, with this a sweep. Let me check the score right now, boy. What is a sweep seat? Uh, Down mean, by nine with nine minutes. I don't think so, dog. I I I I feel like this. If they sweep these people, see. Nigga can't put an asterisk on the championship. I don't care who got hurt, whatever. They solidify their championship to me if they sweep these people. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear, man, well, these people was hurt, these people. If they sweep these people in the finals round, they got my respect. Ain't no asterisk on the chip. Give them their respect. Four to one, four nothing, give them their respect. I don't care how they got Why would an asterisk be on there? See a lot you know, a lot of people was putting the asterisks on this championship. You know, because cause, cause all the people got hurt. That's all they talk about at the shack and all that. Like, you know, you know. I mean, that's just something to have. I don't think that means you get an asterisk. Dang. No, an asterisk mean people going to question this championship. A few people is going to, you know. 
A nah. few people had their feelings about this championship. Like, none of them would be there. That's what I'm saying. Every year, uh, injuries but not make, like this. Make, make shit different. Right. Yeah, but, I mean, why would... Just because... This is a different year, period, just because of COVID and all that. But and I remember. No you, I feel... I understand why I asked you, but no, this ain't no asterisk. No, fuck no. How right. are both of these teams healthy? Right, because if it's an asterisk, like you said, I remember you telling me this when um, you wasn't really respecting Golden State first championship. I remember you always say that. Everybody that played was hurt. Remember the Clippers? Chris Paul was out. Zach Randolph didn't play. They got for, a um, lucky break, the, boy. Uh, Zach Randolph didn't play with Memphis. You know, Memphis had just beat the Spurs the year before. The year before they that. They got a break. Then Zach got hurt. Then they, then they met was LeBron. Chris Paul? Was Chris, Chris Paul, Paul got hurt. Boom. Uh, I want to say, um, you know, they had a they played in Memphis. Memphis still took them six games, but Zebo or something got hurt. And then, boom, they made it to the final. No love, no Kyrie Irving. Yeah. Still took your six. So I feel you on that. That one, that's the only championship covering them one I really don't respect. They were supposed to win that. I respect the other two. I mean, I, I respect the other two when, when Durant come hit the shot. You know what I mean? I don't respect that move, but they won that. They won that. They, you know, when they beat them, when dude came down and hit the shot. They beat them. But that year, their first championship they ever won, no, everybody they played, the star player was out. Yeah, man. You know it be saying? like that. I mean, you need a little bit of luck. Yeah, to get to the chip, unless you just better than everybody, like you know, and that and and that usually ain't the team that get there. If you just head and shoulders better than everybody, you can get there, but you still got to get. Most of the time, you got to get some luck with you. Sure. You Miami Heat with LeBron and them, yeah, you supposed to get there. You know, Shaq and Kobe, we knew they were supposed to get there. But I ain't gonna lie. Miami, though, they got a lucky chip. LeBron got one lucky chip to meet. Not the chase down block one. The, the Spurs? Mi- no, the missed shot, the kick out the Ray Allen. The Spurs. They really lost that game. They didn't if the know. Ball, listen, no, they didn't know. If the <laughs> ball bounced anywhere else, they Ooh, lose. What the fuck? You can't see that. No, I'm just saying. They got real Look at that, that David Tyree catch. If the no, ball, what listen, the fuck? They did right, it. They listen, caught that bit. You know what I'm saying? We never saw that. In NBA history. What? Uh, offensive rebound no, no, and I'm made a No, listen. Dude got the way it happened. He got the offensive rebound. But as soon as he got it, dude ain't had a chance to think of nothing. Like, why he gone in the air already grabbing the rebound? He looked all around where he going to pass it at before he grabbed it. That was the fucking play of the finals. Chris Bosh made it. He looking what he going to throw the ball at, see, when he jumped in the air. Soon as he come down, he was already in motion to give it the read. You hear me? I never seen the game end like that. Whether bounce out the rim, Fuck, nigga called it like and that. throw it to him. It and didn't he, end like that. The niggas could have still lost. That tied the game with seconds left. Yeah, I never seen the nigga do that. I never seen yeah, you just it come out the rim and kick it out as time expired. Sure, he I hit it as the time expired. No, it didn't, man. Fuck no, no, he didn't. Fuck no. So what happened? Kawhi missed the free throws. I know that. Kawhi missed the free throw before that, right? Can't really explain. Because I, I want to say you right. Because I won't say. They were right out of here. They almost It was two, lost. three, four when the seconds Spurs left. got they shot to win the game, they could have won. Like it rolled out or something. Tony Parker or something. It rolled out. And then one year, they just put a clinic on them. They just opened up a clinic on them one year. Four to one. Pass it all around. Go watch that series for the blueprint of basketball. I ain't going to lie. They work my dog. <laughs> they work piss out them. <laughs> but yeah, on the sun, CP3, boy. You looking good. I picked Milwaukee, though. I got to stick with my pick, but CP3, you looking good on I me. Mean, CP3, bro, you looking good. And Booker, what 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 Ziggy said? Booker need to just suck on the lemon. 
<laughs> that boy need to just suck on the lemon, boy. Yeah, bro. Phoenix playing some good ball, bro. <laughs> really, dude. They playing good team ball. <coughs> <coughs> I feel like Giannis and them is an easier team to coach against when Giannis on the floor. Right. I don't think it's much more you can do. I mean, he is dominant, but to me it's not that schemey. It's not – if he's not going to come and really put the game away every game, it's hard for the other dudes to do it, Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday, because this dude going to have the ball most of the time. Right. Basically, if they can't impose their well on people and just smother you and pound on you, they did. They did. I not You know – I just don't have no faith in, 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 in Milwaukee, bro. They got here. I didn't think they was going to get here. I don't think they're going to win this. And I feel like they'll never get back here with that team. Ooh. 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 I feel but, like but, they lucked up and got here. Yeah. I ain't lying, though. No. You right. That East on the come up. The East on the come up. This thing on the come up is just this the best team you got to worry about, Milwaukee? Nah. That's not about to be like that. Philly about to nah, shake something. You're not about to be and Boston no just more. Boston just traded Kimball. They got nothing but money. Somebody going to play with them. Boston going to be what's up. <laughs> Brooklyn going to be what's up. Mm-hmm. Atlanta, Milwaukee. Trey Soldier. Milwaukee is about to. I mean, Trey, I feel like they overachieve. But, man, Milwaukee about to still got to break that team How you up. feel about Miami? Somebody might go play like that. Miami. They got money. I like Miami. With Miami Bam, can Jimmy. always, they one player away. They can always make a trade. Woo, woo, woo. Now they got a, a solid, they already have a solid team. But they can go and get them two big superstars. They got enough talent to trade away to get them somebody. So Miami going to be able to mix Pat Riley. know what he's doing. Oh, uh, another thing I wanted to bring up, um, the Olympic, the Olympic um, team. And we were saying the other day, I was tripping, man. Uh, Coach K gave it up. You know, Popovich coached him in 16. So, Coach K done with coaching. Right, I didn't even Cause remember Popovich that. got it. Popovich, I can show you a thing popped on my, my Instagram, a quote from Popovich. Popovich said something like, if I called Kevin Durant to see if he won't play, if he had told me no, I'd have called him back three more times. I saw that. He said I would have begged him until he could. I would have begged him until he, I, could, him till he told me, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nigga, you on the call. Uh-huh. Just going any living species. Now, it surprised me. He cold, don't get me wrong. But it surprised me that Zach made it. Zach made the cut. Was a surprise to me. Zach Levine? Levine. And you. Oh, that's a surprise. The Bills and all that. I'm just thinking they didn't have room the for Bills? him. The Bradley Bills, Tatum, and them. Harden, well, Harden ain't playing. That's why they got room for him. See what I'm saying? If all the yes play, ain't no room for Zach Levine. Yes. You no, know why? ain't no room for him. Yeah, it is. I gotta pull He's up a the shooter. Roster. He's a pure shooter. No, he not a pure shooter. Zach Levine? Yeah, Zach Levine go to the rack and dunk it. No, man. What's Zach Levine you been watching? Because the last year. He a scorer. He ain't a shooter. Year. I wouldn't what you say. Mean? He wasn't in a three-point contest this year? Zach Levine? He's a peer shooter. Right, I ain't right, speaking right. on right, something. Right, well, he got to show me a little something. Because he a what? two-time slam dunk champion. I can't give him no shooter. <laughs> I can't give him that's a shooter. A, that's why he, he can't miss the Olympics. He, he won the dunk contest. You know why? why? That's why he can't miss He'll the Olympics. He'll show him and Jock. Him and Jock, similar, but, Zach, he, but he's a bigger Jock. Zach Levine, he trying to make a name for himself. Like, Oh, uh, yeah, see, they got the shooting guard small forward because he's 6'6". Six, well, he's 6'6". Six, six. See the light again. Well, he's 6'6". Six, six. I know he's a shooter, see. I just no, don't he's a shooter. shooter first. I mean, the dude hits 10, 11 threes in a game and shit. Yeah, he's a shooter. He's scoring 50 and shit. He doing shit Bradley Bill and them doing. He averaged a lot of points this year. Bradley Bill, one of the best two guards in the league, man. Put him on LeBron and them team. Put him on a, a contender, and you're going to feel me. He hasn't been taking over. He hasn't been the leader of a team as long as a Bradley Bill and, uh, you know, or as important as a Bradley Bill as long as he has. But All right, here go the roster. Bam. Bradley Bill, Devin Booker, 
Kevin Durant. Now, this was a shocker, but he played that defense. Jermaine Jer- Grant. Harvey's Grant, little nephew. He made it. They got Draymond Green. They got Drew Holler. Drew made it. They got Zach. Damian Lillard. Kevin Love made it again. Chris Middleton and Jason Tatum. That's the team. So they bigs is Bam, Grant. What about Kevin Love? Kevin Love and fucking Draymond Green. That's they bigs. Love. Kevin Love really they main big. Draymond Green, yeah. Jermaine Grant, Brad, I mean, and Bam. Bam starting then at the five. That's all that's telling me. Bam starting at the five over Kevin Love. I don't know. Not because he's not, you know, he's a more young More defense. No, but Kevin Love can he got score on deep. you in the post. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm not sure if And this I'm is an overseas like game, that, yeah. too. This ain't the yeah, NBA. Yeah, so, you know. So they play into his hand. It may put Kevin Love out there because he may just be that important. And more get more experience than Bam. Yeah, I can I can shoot this bitch better than you. And you know he and won I the gold post in sixteen. Up anybody? See, Popovich respect all that. He won the gold in the sixteen. In love. So he returning on the team. He won the gold in the sixteen. Who all along here won gold in sixteen? He won gold. Draymond Green was on there in sixteen. Kevin Durant was on there in sixteen. Nobody else. Kevin Love, Draymond. And Durant, they the only three on the team return off the gold medal team. Yeah, we just want to speak on that. Man, I just finished watching Space Jam, but I know it come out next week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, tell me about it. I shout out um, Morgan. She uh she invited us, man. He had different groups of kids from around the city at uh. I'm not sure if it was her and who else, but they, uh, they got us all in there to watch the premiere of Space Jam, bro, a week before it came out. It's a good movie, bro. My dog LeBron, man. You know? Is it uh, cool as the first one? I don't want to say better or nothing. It's, man, it's funny you know what? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good one. I have to watch the first one again to see, to How remember it. it. Like, I, of course I just saw it, but I don't remember the... Everything about it, so um, it was a good, it was a good little movie, man. LeBron did his thing in there. I'm fucking with it, you know. Shout out Morgan for the tickets and shit, man. How bright is the Saints' future? Real bright. We got Sean Payton as our coach. He top two in the league, but we top still three got in the Mickey league. Loomis running it. Don't matter. And why I say it don't matter? Because it don't look like it matters. When are we going to make a splash? What, you wanted to win a Super Bowl? No, when we going to make a splash? Like what? When when when, when is going to ever be a time? Damn, boy, the Saints got him. It ain't about that. Yeah, when that's going to ever happen? If that's what a splash called, it ain't about that. Yeah. It, ain't are, about, it ain't about that, dude. But we need, we, 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 we need some Did the Patriots weapon. win we that bitch saying, with- oh, we got him? No, you know when they did that, they lost. When they got they more seventeen, and no, though. they lost though. But uh, you know, it was a, it was successful as it could be. Damn near, he got, hey, it wasn't. They lost in the chip. But they went seventeen and no, they made oh. some fucking money. I'm saying, you hear me? They went seventeen and no they, for different they, shit. They, but still, yeah, of still, course, it's a still good still season. Got a undefeated season on it on their resume when well, they went got him. The they broke all the records. Why, he you think they won that? And he threw for but fifty look, that four. That don't matter. You think Bill? You think you think Robert oh, Kraft no. gonna win it or not win it? I, I when get exactly it. what you're saying, yeah, but it don't make no sense arguing was, another point. It, like they they got the splash, and you know, and did you know they went they went the distance is what I'm saying. See. They went the distance with that, but they got I'm most. Clearly, and they just saying up to it. why the splash don't matter. It don't matter. It do matter. How? I just gave you the perfect they example. They went to the Super Bowl. They didn't win it, but it do fucking matter. No, this matter. why it don't matter. This is why this that's the perfect example because New England they winning chips. They didn't win that bitch when they went and got a splash. So the splash didn't matter. They won that bitch when they went and got Corey Dillon there, yo. When they stole Corey Dillon from Cincinnati. 
That wasn't gave a splash. them that shit. That gave them that fucking running game. It wasn't a splash, That helped man. Kevin Fox. Moss and, and Corey Dillon. He wasn't Moss, but that was a splash. Moss is a splash. That was a big free agent, one of the top backs in the league. You let New England get him no, for it. No, man. Boy, Dillon was doing his thing. He was doing his thing. But when he went to the Patriots, nigga done gave up on it. It's a running back a dime a dozen, though. You know that. It was him and Kevin Folk. A dime a dozen. You know they just, Folk, needed, they just, just needed a crazy. running back, a good one. They a dime a dozen, though. You talking about Moss, man. You talking about the best ever. Listen, we ain't gonna be able to keep. We ain't gonna be able to keep getting away if with. If Moss is splash, Corey Dillon. That's what I'm saying. Ain't nothing had. What no splash, no sprinkle, no nothing. Like why we let the veteran go? Who? Sanders and shit. You know, like we ain't got. We got Thomas over here, but who is our second receiver? Who it is? Your Sean boy? Payton. <laughs> Man, who going out there and catch Sean that? Sean Payton. Who going to catch Did we that know man? the names of these niggas before? These No, Sean Payton. <laughs> Sean Payton. Ain't gonna be able to we keep got him. the best coach in the league, man. We ain't going to be able to keep just better. We don't lose. Them. We don't have no losing seasons, bro. Let's think about it. It might well go ahead and give him a lifetime contract, bro. What, what else you going to do? Right, who else we gonna go? Ooh, what the fuck, man? Since he came in this bitch, we've been winning. Who gonna be the second quarter but look, quarter receiver? Sean Payton. But what what people ain't been talking about? Uh, what's your boy like name? It. You gotta give him his roses. What the boy? Uh, what the defensive coordinator? Dennis Smith? Uh, Dennis Dennis what Dennis he, Smith? Yeah. <laughs> we've been the top five D the last five years. Sean Payton, man. Because our defense, our defense serious, bro. You know. Sean Payton. Our offense ain't been hitting. Our D, top five in the league. Sean Payton. Only dude who could really compare to him in the league, coaching-wise, is Bill Belichick. No, and that's crazy. Because both of them got one. And they got no, a resume no, no. of winning records. I Remember, feel you. I mean, it's went, plenty of coaches Let me vote who we could compare as Super Bowl wins and shit like that. I'm just saying, since Sean Payton been in the league, no, nobody no. really been winning like Sean Payton. And without they starting quarterback like Sean Payton, but Bill, he won he won good with Matt right. um Look, Matt Castle. I'm about to tell you. What Andy Reid did with Donovan McNabb, I think they went to like Six straight NFC championship games. Hey, man, you know, I love Andy Reid. Yeah. You know, if he anybody right up, could compare to him, it's he right, too. He right up there Andy with Sean. Andy Reid got a better resume than Peyton. Because he did the same amount of winning in Philly. He ain't get the ring in Philly. He got to the bowl and lost to Brady and them. He got the ring in KC, but that nigga won some games. Same thing I paid him. That nigga won some games. They like a wash. Andy Reid. I get him a wash. I'm not going to knock Andy Reid for nothing. Yeah, I get him a he wash. He is, is, is the man. I get him a wash. He the man. He done Michael Vick. He done McNabb. He done, he done everybody. He a quarterback guru, mm-hmm. offensive guru. Him and, so him and Sean Payton are similar like a motherfucker. Michael Vick had an MVP <coughs> type season. Yes. But they just want going to give it to him coming out of jail. They gave it to Tom Brady. He really was the MVP that year. Yeah, he, he had a spectacular yeah, he, year. Yeah, he came out. The, he, Michael Vick killed through for like four to five hundred yards. We didn't even know Vick was living like that. that. In the pocket, slinging it. <laughs> they gave the MVP the time. He was fresh out. That was pick. a nice ass year, but I remember that Philly year with, with Vick, bro. Vick come out first play, throw a bond at Deshaun Jones. Jackson. 90 yards. I just, you know, it was exciting watching them people, man. Vick them for sure. <laughs> Of course, Vic was inciting Atlanta and shit. But that uh, Philly Vic was still serious with that on. about this, because um, I don't think we never brought Lamar up on the show yet. How you feel about Lamar, and do you think he could be successful? You know what I'm talking about? Do you think he can win the big games? Because yeah. that's all he ain't do yet. So I ain't going to say like he ain't successful, but, you know, when when Baltimore gonna get in that championship game? At least you know or something. Damn, bro. But you he know in that division, dog. See, bro, Lamar. I think Lamar got the talent to do it. I really do. I really do, bro. But damn, bro, got some demons out there right with him, bro. You know, like 
Patty Holmes, my and home, You like bro. Adam, right? Ja- I mean, Josh, Josh Adam, Adam, man. I love Josh Adam. And you had, you know, it's just going to be tough. He can do it. It's tough, though, in that AFC, See, man. It's tough. Like I said, in his division, he got Rosler Burger, Burrow, and he got Cleveland with the best team on paper in football right now. Everybody in their secondary run four threes and shit. <laughs> Denzel Wall, Greedy Williams, Grant Delpit. They say Delpit shining. You know he tore his ACL the first day of practice last year. Grant Delpit. I'm going to put y'all on notice. Home is stud. I'm going to put y'all on notice. You see what he did, number nine. Got the, uh, you seen what he did? Number nine. That year. What he won the Benedict, right? Yeah, I think he won National Defensive Player of the Year, Grant Delpit. When we went undefeated. Yeah, hey, he won a lot of awards, Delpit. Yeah, Delpit, nice. That's what I'm saying. Then you got Clowney and Garrett. You know how I feel about Garrett. He got Patrick Mahomes money, putting his hand down. That dude, the alien. He getting 42, 43 million a year with his hand in it, in it, in it uh, coming off the edge. QB money. Dude got QB money, whoop. <laughs> with, with his hand in the dirt. Do the alien, bro. I do the alien for real. Look like Phoenix in uh, one out. game, too, bro. Close out. It's all grieving. Y'all got to go home. Y'all don't win game three. Y'all get swept for real. They don't win game three. Um, now to the Pelicans. To the Pelicans, bro. Yeah, it's already got a few seconds left. They're about like 10. Suns. 2-0 Suns. But um, Pelicans. I right. think Zion checking out. I think we already done lost them. I think we done lost him, son. He going to do his thing now here. We got to bring in something where, all right, now, now, now we talking. That's what we need a splash. Yeah, we don't, yeah. They need a splash. That's the thing. I don't, I don't, I don't assume that these general managers and owners Just making rumors, man. He, okay. he run the Saints. How we going to have him running the – I didn't like that move. No disrespect, making rumors. I know you're a hell of a businessman. You don't supposed to be running both of the teams, bro. Stick with the Saints. You doing good with the Saints. Let um your girl run it. Swing cash. Whatever her name is. She vice president. Come out that WNBA. Let her run it. Make it luminous, man. You running two teams, man. You ain't investing enough of your time. I mean, into we got, the Pelican. We the got Pe- your boy, what, uh, David. Who we got? Your boy from Cleveland. We got him, too. No. Nah. The general man, David Who Griffin. Who's David not going to know that we need somebody? To keep Zion. We ain't the only ones. No, they got it. First know. of all, we need a coach and we need a splash player. I wanted to get Chauncey because, see, I like the Chauncey too. Sam name still out there, but Chauncey got the Lily. Chauncey got the Portland job. Yeah, you ain't know that? Yeah, Chauncey Bellows, the head coach of the Portland Trail Blazers. No, they ain't make that official, man. Yeah, huh? No, fuck no. I just saw Lily say he's going to talk to the GM about his. Whatever he need to talk about. Phillips ain't getting no job yet. Let it no, Portland Trailblazers respond to Phillips hiring. They hired him. No. Yeah, he the coach, see? Oh, thanks so. I think he got maybe he got hired by somebody else. Look, he's the professional head coach for the Portland Trailblazers. He's the head coach. Damn. Yeah, he the coach, right? Yeah, they got him over there. I wouldn't have mind. I ain't lying. I like these ex-players having success instead of y'all just going to get these basketball minds like your boy, Brad Stevens, showed you. Yeah, you know, that basketball mind shit cool to a certain extent. You know, you drawing up this X's and O's shit, but you got to really, you got to really, you know, you got to see this shit for it happening and all that. That's how, you know, Chauncey and them going to be, you know, they players, an uh, ex-player going to see shit before it even developed. When a guy who never played basketball before, he drawing up plays and schemes and shit. 
But he don't really know how this shit really go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just think ex players having success right now. Look at Kurt. Look at Steve. Like you said, Steve could have got coach of the year. You how you feel? You know. Look at Steve. Uh, Man had who else many the ex fucking star uh, lineups he had this year? Mike Wilson. I think that's Atlanta. Mike Wilson. He was, he was a vet in the league. Oh, no, was it Nate McMillan? Nate that? McMillan. I meant to say. McMillan. He was on that team with Gary Payton now. Sam Perkins, them. That, yeah. Oh, fuck with Nate McMillan. With Sean was a Kemp, them. Yeah, they went to the finals. Nate McMillan was a baller. Yeah, man. Nick McMillan was on that team with the glove, them. Chauncey and Dane. Boy, Chauncey was a hell of a nigga, boy. Chauncey going to get his mind right. Chauncey going to make him better than what he is. Because Chauncey going to make him see the game from him, his perspective. He already got it. He already got it. Chauncey going to calm him down perfect. I don't know. It's like Dame is like a better Chauncey. Right. Of course he can help him. I mean, it's another great point guard. But don't sleep. Know what Dame could do, though? That he really showed me. He could come be Westbrook and D-Rose. He'll fuck you up. He could come turn into them two. Fuck it, I ain't shooting. I'm killing. I'm about to go to the hole. You seven feet tall. I'm about to punch on you. Don't think you have. Damian Lillard play above that rim too. He when he get around that goal, he he could do it all really. Man. That's why I call him the best point in the league. Damn the I best really point think, in the league, and man. I and I'm hard to say. They laughed at me uptown the other day, Jack or them. I said, dog, Jack, Curry better than I mean Lillard better than Curry. And I know it's hard. I know Curry got the jury. And the only thing that dude could do is shoot better. But that's the most important thing. He not better than Dame though. Just my opinion. Steph ain't better than Dane. I don't think so. That's a hard one, though. He ain't better than Dame, dog. Dame the best PG in the league. I'm backing it up, bro. I be out. But what about your little partner? Oh, Kyrie. You know, that's your homie. I fucks with Kyrie. Kyrie is but different. He ain't, he ain't better than Dame right now? He not better than Dame. Ooh, coming from you, Kyrie that's big to me. Dame, you don't bro. put, you don't, you don't go against Kyrie. Dame is the best PG in the league. Right, all right. You the best. You give and Dame you know what's respect. crazy though, bro. You see how we like you can't shoot better than stuff. It's like I know I'm in Dame head. I'm like I'm a shooter. I know Dame don't feel like that. Dame probably feel like man, I can oh, shoot look, just as good as this I dude. I show you this too. You Kenny, know, Kenny Smith. Dame, Dame, Dame Lillard hit it from the logo. Kenny Smith tweeted, I'm standing on this. Dame shoot it from deep better than Steph. Steph come right back on that bitch. You done lost your mind. <laughs> yeah, Steph come. But you know what they're joking. Steph, yeah. Steph like, boy, you out your mind. That's what I'm but, saying. But uh, Kenny Smith got on there, tweeted. Dame. He can shoot it from deep better. I'm not going to say Dame a better shooter and stuff, but I feel like Dame is neck and neck with the man. Now, I'm going to tell you what's crazy. They're different systems, different mind frames. If Dame was shooting it as much as Steph, Steph was shooting. early on, man, it would be crazy. I'm going to tell you how Dame shooting him now like Steph. He taking a lot of them like Steph. I know because yeah. Dame, he I think Dame broke the record or something. Some Dame broke it was the going back at, you know, like the most threes in the league or something. I know Dame was up there. But what I respect <clears throat> about Dame, too. Dame play on both sides of the ball. Like, Dame a good defender. He a good defender. Like, he, he play D. I be hearing him talk. And then, this the thing, too, though. Dame. Dame time. When Steph matter, ain't got them clutch no, shits uh, like uh, him. No. No, indeed, no. Mm-mm. No, indeed, no. Dame got... Clip after clip after clip of him making some big ass shot. Yes. Not that Steph don't got big shots, but this man, Dame, then it's like you don't want to be in no close game with this dude. All right, um, like that ain't the best PG in the league, bro. Yeah, Dame could actually feel like he the best player in the league. He can feel like that. We got KD and shit like that, but Dame, man, Dame could talk that talk. He could walk in any room and talk that talk to whoever he in this talk. bitch. Yes, indeed. Give a fuck who in here. Um, Don't play with me. How what you feel? How you feel about Clay? 
You think Clint gonna be all right? Like Clint coming back like Durant I ain't about to miss a step. I think so. Yeah, I, I think. really think Clint That's shooting thing. better than Steph. He That's just don't thing. get his shots like Steph. Like for us, Clay can do he, with. But Clay shoot the ball better Clay than Clay can Steph. do with. Um, Barkley said it too. Barkley like one percent of the world Clay can the do. better shooter. I think you know. Clay can shoot that bitch Listen, better than anybody in this arena. Listen, this probably ain't gonna you never know? happen again. So unless it's one of them. 37 and a quarter, my nigga. Yeah. 11 threes. Yeah. yeah 11 threes of seven dribbles. You don't have to do as much 37 as Kevin Durant. 37 points in a quarter <laughs> of seven dribbles. He took seven dribbles. Woo. Yeah, I think it was less than that, too. I think it was like four or something. He took four yeah, or five. Yeah, he took a few dribbles. 37 in a quarter. In a quarter, bro. Right? Clay remind me of me. <coughs> you feel me? I was the first Clay shooting mm-hmm. that thing. You made a couple. Talk. <laughs> Real talk. You was wet, boy. You feel me? I talk shit now. I mean, my arm ain't really good, but I can still shoot it. But it might not be Clay shit. But um, but yeah, man. I wanted to get on, man. Uh, man that Javante Davis fight, bro. Bring some boxing in here, man. Oh, I don't know if you caught it. Home of the truth. But look, this was the talk in the shack. In the shack. The shack, as you heard me. <laughs> some street shit. The bookie. We go gamble it out. You know, woo woo woo. It's going you know, down some top secret shit. Yeah, at an undisclosed location. Yeah, you feel me? It's on some, but um, some good hood love. We talking in the um shack. What we was on? Uh, Javante Davis, Javante man. Javante Davis. The, now, the, uh, this was this was my dog New saying. My dog New said, "Man, I ain't fight nobody yet. He running from the real." See, I don't know about boxing, so I can't contest it. They say he running from from the real. A few boxing heads then put me on game. They say he running from the real. Uh, you yeah, know. but look, he beating the, the opponents. The dude was a world champion, opponent. man. He took a he took that dude belt. That dude got a belt. Dude had a belt. I understand. I understand he that argument. I mean, you gotta be smart out here. You gotta be smart out here. You don't go and fight. You know. Early on in your career, somebody who just Probably as tough as you. you. Well, I mean, yeah, you can't go and no, you gotta pick your in this game. You trying to go get <clears throat> your potential bread. Now, I can't say he ducking all the heat. No, man, you saw that Mexican he just fought, bro. Dude was bigger than him and everything. Yeah, man, come on, man, you can't. He was. He that was an even up. fight without them knockouts, man. Like he fucked him up, dude. Too. Man, come on, man. He yeah. fucked him up. He punched on him. Look, dad, it's serious. I'm saying you, you punched on, you knocked the man out in the eighth round and finished him in the eleventh. I couldn't say you was winning that fight without them knockouts. Like, dude was touching you. He ain't getting no real big nah, licks he was on you. All the rounds. Who? Dude. Davis. Which dude? Dude won, the, dude won, like, a couple out the first, like, three rounds, but then Javante just started winning every round. Javante no, was beating man. him, yeah. I'm not sure what the he official was dominating call was. Him. He was beating him every round. But the unofficial card, he was losing. Davis, he was losing. Floyd told him that on the side. He said, dude, that was in the 10th round. He said, man, on the unofficial, you losing. I got to tell you that. I don't want to sit here and lie to you. Floyd telling him that in the Ooh. ring. He like, I got to I gotta keep it real, you know. He let him know, you got to knock him out. Right. You losing the fight on the unofficial. Now, I did hear something like on the official, he was Javante was him. really winning, though. Like, they had it. Because it was like, the Mexican was like, winning like maybe six out of the six and three, like. Rounds, whatever it was, nine, ten rounds. Right. So he was really like winning out of the rounds, but um, 
And that's how I felt. Like, it was close. Like, I wouldn't have been surprised the Mexican was winning the fight. But, um, man, he, he can't, you can't let him touch you too many times. But yeah, that's Boy, what I see. Look like he, he knocking is gonna a few sing more it people out. out than Floyd. Floyd just was going to beat you with the techniques. Look like dude trying to put you down. I mean. And he got technique. You can't hit him. And he a Javante D was more of a Mike Tyson to me. Of his weight class. Yeah, yeah. not the same exact fighter, but they like the counter punches. Yeah. Gonna knock you out. We really touch on you. But Flo was knocking people out when it was when he was twenty and no and shit, twenty two and no. Yeah, he most of them was knockouts. So but this way it started getting real though. You and know twenty something fights. Now you about to start fighting the Your twenty something, thirty something fights. And he toward I ain't gonna say it's toward the end. Dude on the twenty I don't know how 24, 24 years so, old yeah. or something. Like, it ain't towards the end. But you want to be fighting until you're at least 30 or something where you can make some money. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you want an impeccable record. But he got to wait. He got to try to beat. He got to try to fight people he know he could beat and make some money before you go out and, you know, I see Reed just calling him out. Reed's trying to get, you know, Reed just too smart. Fight. I know what I heard. Reed yeah, I feel fight. him. Reed is like 30 or I something, you know. Reed is trying to get it the biggest fight he can, you know. I don't think he's going to fight him, though. I hope he fight him, but I don't think he's going to fight him. <laughs> I don't think he's going to Because Reed just can probably most likely beat, beat him. <laughs> like... It's not Javante not safe going in that ring with Regis, Regis man. Right. Regis Somebody a, told me that. Regis similar to Javante. He gonna you let him keep touching, he's gonna knock you out. And he gonna throw a lot of punches. Regis, it's the only thing though. I don't, I, that'll be a good fight. It just be I think it's just too early what for the way Javante. Is on them niggas? I think Javante fight at one forty five, between one thirty five, one forty five. I think Reed just fight at 155, 145, up in there somewhere. You know, they probably could meet at 145 or something. I, 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 you know, Reed is, I, all them, all them top ones. Even though Reed is his top fighter, but the ones he really want to fight, I know they don't want to get in there with him. They don't want to get in there with him, man. It's too risky. It's too risky, bro. Cause Reed is Reed is hit hard too. He knocking shit out. He knocking you out, hitting you in your in your stomach and shit. You know. Reed is the truth, bro. I wish that and no dude get that big ass fight. But one nigga who I feel like nobody won't fuck with. I f- they think they won't fuck with him. But Errol Spence. Errol Spence. Man, yeah. this nigga cold. <laughs> Spence that nigga man, Cole, right? he like a a a, who a black him? man in Pacquiao. Who, who, who beat him? Who beat him? He lost. Errol Spence, do he got a loss? Errol Spence got a loss. He lost. I don't, I don't think he lost. Something happened or something. I know he got in a car accident and shit. Cause I wasn't on him until really after the car accident. I'm not the a hundred percent boxing fan where I'm just on everything, everything, everything. But I love boxing. Zero losses, boy. Yeah, Errol Spence, I don't think he lost. 27 wins. He just beat Garcia. 21 knockouts. Say, bro, I don't see how somebody could beat this dude. How he fight, I don't see how you could beat him. He throwing punches all day. He don't get tired. It's like you got to either match his energy or I don't know. Maybe just knock him out, but I don't see how you going to touch him like. That dude put on a clinic on Danny Garcia, and it was Danny a good Garcia, fight. It was a good said. fight, and that's a top fighter. And Danny Garcia straight, and I um they went the whole they went the they went the distance, but it's like man, it's like this dude put pressure on Danny all oh, fight, all oh, fight, and he never. I think he only lost maybe once or twice or something. Danny Garcia to good. I think Terrence Crawford or something. Shit, Terrence Crawford nice too. Yeah, Crawford nice, but Errol Spence, bro. I don't know. I don't Is see he nobody. in that weight class with Javante? I think he's a little heavier, but I think they can meet up. I don't see. I don't know about that.
about Javante fucking with that. I don't know if they can meet up because dude a little longer. Man, dude, he the real deal, Errol Spence, out of Dallas. Got a final. 118, Oh, he said some shit last year like he won spot with Errol Spence. Who? Um, Javante. Yeah, it's ball. Sparring and getting in that bitch different. It is going to get him better. This is Javante might fight Pacquiao. If Pacquiao healthy, Pacquiao going to beat him. Pacquiao ain't going to beat him. That's crazy. That will be a good money fight for Javante. Pacquiao too old, bro. You ain't gonna be able to take them licks. He gonna touch Pacquiao. Pacquiao f- swing too much. He swing too much, dog. Pacquiao hell of a fire to do. He gonna put that <laughs> pressure on you. But man, that boy gonna touch you. That boy touching. I don't know everything I've been seeing. So he far. is gonna touch Dude, you. Ping, ping. And you especially if you swinging, swinging, swinging. Your best chance is like that Mexican talk, a jab, stay out the way, jab, you know. I think that's your best way to beat him, just right. getting out the way with the card. But, though, when when did this weight class and stuff start popping off? Because all I can remember as a child growing up, learning about boxing and all that, it was about the heavyweights in the 90s, though. Now all of a sudden, like no, a heavyweight man. fight don't come on TV no more. That's just not being that much knowledgeable because you can't just say that. Man, no, 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 it was, saying it it was earlier bigger today. heavyweights back then because you had Ali, uh, you had all these Most times we was getting together, we had to fight at the house. It was a heavyweight fight. Like you, know what? you, you may heavy, be right. Heavyweight that was time. popping twenty five years ago. Heavyweight not popping right now. Oh no, heavyweight ain't no. popping. It's just. You know, they got heavyweight champion. We don't even know the heavyweight champion of the world, man. No, but... The Lil guy's taking over. They done took it over. The heavyweight's going to come back. They just need that flair. They need that... Uh, they need that mouthpiece who knocking things out to make everybody start watching again. That's all heavyweight need. But heavyweight, like, they took a back seat to these other classes, from what I see. You know what I'm saying? True. I might be wrong though, but true. I just know they got great boxing boxers, who are not in the in the heavyweight. Sugar Ray and Roy Jones, all these people. You know, they was smaller people. You know, that's when it changed. Right there, you hit it right on the nose. The Roy, Roy Jones. The Roy yeah, era. Yeah, because the Roy era was kind of going towards the inner Mike and them era. Lennox took Lewis them off them. heavyweights. Roy. And Roy and Floyd to go, you know. Yeah, because to me, the last real big heavyweight fight was Lennox Lewis and the boy. No, uh, Lennox Lewis Holy and the boy Phil. from um, Philadelphia. What's his name? Boy from Philly. You about to see. I'm about to tell you right now. That's crazy. Like, wasn't nothing like no Tyson fight, bro. I remember, like, man, we paid for that shit. Shit was a fucking minute long. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I can't even remember who said this shit. I knew that was a couple of times. Like, man, Mike, the knock this nigga out. Quick. Fuck that. That's the thrill. You gonna remember that shit. Like, yeah, it wasn't no long fight. Man, stayed up, Mike, to knock this nigga out in 17, <laughs> 17 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Man, I remember one of them white boys said, man, man, Tyson fucking licks feel like a TV on a string. I said, God damn. That nigga thought about some shit, huh? I'm a TV <laughs> on a string. Fuck. Mike. Hitting your ass hard, boy. Bernard Hopkins. 
Okay. That was the last big heavyweight but fight. No, to Hopkins it was Lennox Bernard Lewis? and Lennox Lewis. That was the last big heavyweight fight I can remember. I don't think Everybody they went watched. Them dudes ain't fight against each other, man. But no, Hopkins wasn't no heavyweight. He maybe was a light heavyweight. Maybe. Yeah, I'm tripping. When you say last big fight with Lennox Lewis, man, I'm thinking about Tyson. All right. No, that's the wrong thing. Other than that, your boy from Alabama, man, he had some big fights lately. When he, he just lost, dude. Man, what's his name? It's a big boy name, man. Who? The dude, they just postponed this fight with him and Furry. Big big black dude, man. Roy, he beat Roy in 93. Who? Bernard Hopkins. Yeah, Bernard. Yeah, remember they did the old man fight, huh? Him and Bernard. Huh? Didn't they fight? No, Roy and Roy. And Tyson. Roy and Tyson fight. But I think mm. Bernard and Roy did fight when it was like 40 or something, you know? Fought again. Maybe it was 50. He came the oldest nigga to ever win the title. But no, it happened. But no. Yeah, man, them heavyweights back in the G. George Foreman, you know, man. Riddick Bowen, them, man. Muhammad Ali and <laughs> shit. Yeah. Big old boys. Boxing, though, night. Big old boys. Strategically boxing. Now we do, when we do see heavyweights, it's straight knockouts and shit. You know? Yeah, it's straight knockouts, no. Nah. You know? Tyson Furry, no, man. That's the heavyweights. Tyson Furry. Yeah, Tyson and Furry, a boxer, though. And Deontay Widener, man. That's his name, Widener, man. man. I couldn't think his name, Widener. Boy, them boys couldn't get in the ring with Riddick Bull and them and hold the field and them, man. I no man, idea. Hell no. <laughs> they were, hell they were the guy, no. Them boys would have got fucked up in the night. Man, nineties, Mike would have dropped Widener first round. <laughs> yeah. Oh, them wild bull old man. Mike ain't going for that shit, Mike man. Ain't he going to get up, up under you and knock John you Farmer, clean out. You know, he the first person I seen. They showed the video. He punched the, the bag. You know how hard that bag is? I be going to dick sometimes, punching that bitch. My, <laughs> my hand be, I mean, my hand be hurting this shit. He busted. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Sand everywhere. He busted. Boy, John Farr was an alien, boy. Oh, that boy was you can pull that video up right now. That boy punched one of them bags and busted. <laughs> Poof! Charles Foreman, they see the hardest hit never. Now, that's respect when Mike didn't come through this game. They saying you the hardest hitter and well, Mike come big through George here. Charles Foreman was? <laughs> no, but still. Come on. Yeah. Mike. I'm that come on, man. This Mike. Mike was a little bitty one though. Yeah. Hitting hard. You know? A little cocky little yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Josh Farmer. Farmer big about six swole and everything, and everything man. Yeah. He's Mike supposed like, to be knocking shit Mike out. Mike like 5'11 or some shit, huh? 5'10 or something, man. 5'9, five, 5'10. Five, Mike was a small heavyweight. Yeah, that, that Joe Frazier. Up. Come on, man. He wouldn't have beat them dude, Larry Holmes, them and shit, man. Them dude was big. Son enlisting them. Them dude was big, bro. Riddick yes, Boat. Like, you know, them dudes was big, bro. Yes, it fucking be, boy. Michael Spinks. Michael He was knocking everybody out till he, to, you know, till Tyson punched on him in the Superdome. Yeah. Right there in 86. Punched on him in the Superdome. 19 year old world champion. Yeah, that ain't that never happened no more. 19 year old heavyweight champion of the world. He was 19 or 20. Man, if you Tyson. ever got the chance, you got to go check out Tyson, the documentary and shit, bro. You know, people, people yeah, I've been watching shit, bro. I've been watching it. I've been watching it. You know, he had the little dispute with the little charge or whatever, you know. Man, Tyson, curious. what the fuck? Tyson was like, how he got started? The dudes who used to try to bully people and shit. He didn't got, a, got in a fight with one um. Boom. I guess he must have won the fight or something. And they, he went to boxing them two, after that. That's, them two deaths happened and he back got to cool, back on them, bro. He got cool with um all the people who used to bully people. 
They done taught him how to rob, chain snatch, woo woo woo, breaking houses. I think that one of them rappers, Ghostface Killer, somebody, one of them boys came, check Tyson. Yeah, dog, you robbed my mama back in the Jeep. Call your mama right now. What, I robbed you out? And gave her five times that or something. I was living crazy, bad. Bro. You know what I mean? And yeah. that ain't even true, half of the shit Tyson. Story. A, a through, nigga pulled you know. up on Tyson like, man, you robbed my mom in 96 and 91 or something. Tyson really remember what he did and broke them people out. Gave him five racks or some shit. Tyson had some anger and built up in him. Tyson no, but what I told him. Jail, like, boo -boo look, times. I told my partner the other day, I said, dog, if Mike Tyson had any type of business mind, he would have been the first Floyd. Dog, he was the man in the world. The whole world. In 1988, he was the biggest black figure in the world in 88. In yeah. the world, dog. Him and Michael Jackson or some shit. Him and my, they say, look, the three Michaels, nigga, from the 80s to the 90s, yeah. from like 88 to like 94, it was about the three Michaels. They just had that on ESPN. It was about the three Michaels. John Jackson Tyson. Yes, but, indeed. but Tyson was bigger than all of them at the time. Mike had just hit the league. Won his first championship in 1990. Man, Tyson in 1988 or something was a 20 year old champion of the world. I just beat a nigga that's 30 or something for the belt. Yeah, Tyson. Was that 19, man. just turned 20. They ain't about to happen I, I no more. I just saw him in the interview say some shit like, yeah, I made the most money that year. Like, you know, <laughs> you like out of everybody, I made the most money, money. you know? Yeah, out of all the athletes. Yeah. You know, Tyson was that nigga, man. I'm glad Tyson back. He got his cannabis shit going. He got his podcast. Because remember for all them years, that's why I be saying them other sports be getting money too. Fucking, um, I remember like this was around the time when it was COVID. So it used to be like LeBron, Kobe, you know, highest paid athletes, right? But Tiger beating them niggas every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tiger was Tiger, from the stretch. It was Ronaldo, Tiger first. Messi and all them in soccer. Oh, yeah, they up there. Yeah. They, 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 yeah. they beating Tiger you, too. Tiger was number one for like a stretch. Yeah, Tiger, yeah. Tiger was winning everything. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, money. yeah, Tiger. Yes, indeed. Tiger was getting that bread. He won them. Shit. But Mike Tyson, I don't think that ever happened happen again. Guys ain't even mature enough nowadays to even pull that off. 19, just turned 20. Heavyweight champ of the world. Of the world. I just got out of CYC, man. Mike, I Mike. just did juvenile life. I wasn't on the streets nothing but about two years of training. Two years of training, nigga, heavyweight champion of the world. I ain't the best boxer in the world. I'm going to put fear in all y'all. That's how I won the belt early. This young beast, animal, hungry. Mike Tyson at 20 years old, got all the energy in the world, boy. Tired. Man, he's swinging these bitches. <laughs> Tired? He's swinging these Mike bitches. Tyson in 88? Boy, ain't no fucking tired. Haymakers all day. And I got one thing about Mike, he could take a punch. You could see that when he was playing. Niggas hit Mike too. Mike take punches, boy. Mike coming in there. Even Holyfield was sticking him. Holyfield never couldn't really drop him. He was just playing him close, hitting him Holyfield like this. Holyfield beat him. Playing right? him close, hitting him like this. <laughs> playing him Holyfield close. Holyfield beat him. I mean, like in my life, that was the like first this. person <laughs> I saw. Uh, hitting him like this. I yeah. saw. And then hit fight with, like fight then with Tyson, get man. Close, I knew I got to get in this nigga head. I can't beat this nigga straight up. Holyfield fought that boy, man. I got to make him mad. I got to, I got to, I got to. I got to make him bigger win. than Holyfield boxing. beat him, huh? Holyfield beat him all the times, huh? Yeah, Holyfield beat him twice. Yeah. Hey, button and paint. Paint. Holyfield box that boy. But, t you know. But I ain't gonna lie, that was the out of shape Tyson. Just got out of jail off that rape charge. You know, Tyson went to jail from like 93 to 96. He done three years on them 10. He got 10 for rape. He done three on the 10. You'd have fought him in 91, he'd have whooped your fucking ass. <laughs> Perm blank pity, he'd, sure. he'd have whooped the fuck out for Holyfield sure, yeah. in 91. I guarantee you. Yeah, man. He beat Ty Tyson. That fight was for the money. 
That was to get that was to get Tyson back on his feet. Them two fights is the reason why he ain't broke right now. Them two fights, cause that nigga lost everything with that, with that fucking um, with that rape charge, his endorsements, all that. With that rape charge, he got a, he got a rape conviction. <laughs> all that shit got swept from under him. That's what I'm saying. He was he was about to be the five hundred million dollar man till he got the rape charge. He was gonna be the five hundred million dollar man in the nineties, so he was gonna be the billionaire. He was gonna be Floyd. He wasn't been in mind. Man, Mike, they say Mike used to give away a hundred thousand at that damn shit. They say Mike can't pass nobody up that's hurting. And he saw it. Cause Mike come from nothing. All I need enough money is for us to take care of me and live. I ain't trying to save money. Some people live like that for real. I'ma live good, I'ma take care of people. There's money steady coming in. I don't gotta stack 500 million. I'm cool with having a hundred million and blessing motherfuckers. Yeah, he was cool with that. That's how I do it. You see all that in the documentary. Man, Mike used to yeah, give I away gotta, so much watch. money. I got a why he got a couple of them. I was watching the one with him and Bruno. He was giving away so much money. He, he a good dude, bro. Man, yeah. I would like to meet Mike Tyson. Yeah, bro, them two people died on him back to back. All he had, back to back, died on him. Gus and the other, Gus and the trainer. No, the trainer was Gus. And the other man was the mentor. Both of them died back to back on him. But Gus died second. Gus the one, Gus the one who took him from a bitch ass nigga and made him a monster. Gus the nigga like, Way, boy. Sized them up. Like, boy, you a monster. Like, whoosh, turned them into a beast. Straight, straight. Yeah, they can't fuck with you, man. You an animal. You know what I'm saying? And he fuck with them pigeons and shit, you hear me? <laughs> Mike was a different nigga, boy. Boy, Mike fuck with that pimp. I watched it with him and Burn on up. Burn them blowing the gas. With yeah, him. Mike Tyson got some good gas, man. I done had it. And it's expensive. They say he got the rolling papers and everything. Man, Mike got some good He got the leaves. He got the leaves like backwards. He got the leaves. black bottle, but that shit was good. But I got it somewhere when I was in L.A. Some of Tyson shit, man. He got some good shit. Oh, bro, I didn't know you never had that Tyson. Yeah, I had some. Yeah, I had his brand. I had his brand, yo. Hell yeah, man. I love L.A. Love L.A., bro. Oh. Got to make y'all laugh, Woo. You know what I mean? Didn't we tell you they're going to be playing every every other week? Carver and McMahon already done played. What? Yep. Carver just beat them the other day. Wow. They already done played. So you can mark it down. They're going to play about six more times yeah. this year. They play two automatic. And like I told you, every tournament that they get in and they in there together, they making them play. <laughs> are they going to make it to the chip? Are they going to play in the championship or the tournament? Yeah, like you see. <laughs> yep. For real, for real, boy. Yeah, bro, I can't wait to do Call that beat them, but they said uh, both them. of them was like letting their young guys play. You know, some summer league type shit, but they like the core played against, you know, they core and they core played like the same amount of minutes, but they were like, you know, both whole teams played. You know? Hell yeah. And um, I won't say, I want to say it was at Crescent City. I forgot what he had to live. Uh, I know Carver had this shit at their jump. But Crescent City had something too. Yeah, and when I was telling you, he, he, Preston was showing the dude from uh, Kennedy. He was doing his thing. Whatever they had at Crescent City, he was doing his thing. Yeah, bro, we're going to try to stay in tune with these high school stuff, bro. I'm in it. there. You know me every you week. Know. I just found out, too, man, 1008 TV. They, every Friday, I heard at 1008, at 1008 p.m., you do a little live show or something on his Instagram. 
Shout out to no HMV, you know, just right, about the football and stuff. You have different coaches and stuff. Talk, they, you know, talk, they talk right. on there, whatever they got to see. I just, somebody was telling me that. Because uh, I ain't going to lie. baseball game. Knowing, you know, it just feel good as a prep fan knowing every year, like, you know, we got somebody local that could win it all. Like, ain't no hoping or nothing. We coming into the year now every year, we favorite. Somebody down here favorite. I'm loving that. You know what I'm saying? I'm loving that. Because it was like, it just seemed like we could never get to the dome, man. And our ever the eight is other 90s. New Orleans teams could never get to the dome. I got to give it to the 90s babies. Because that's who that is right now. The 90s babies and the 2000 babies. Leonard and them, they born in 1995. Speedy, all of them, all that era who started winning these games like that and competing for state. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Just knowing, but like I said again, bro, I got to see what they're going to do with this select shit, man. That's the only flaw. Like, you know, football got eight or nine championships or some shit, man. You know, they got two championships on each level. No, I'm tripping, man. They got more 10 or 11 championships. Yeah, more than that, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Because before 1A and shit, they got a level lower than 1A. People don't even know. It's class A or some shit. They got a level lower than 1A. It's 1A through 5A, but they got some other shit, like some small ass schools. Yeah. Man, that shit is crazy, bro. We ain't, we ain't even crowning no, no true champions, man. 5A? I mean, as far as the Catholic League, the same usual people, the Jesuits, the St. Dog, Holy Cross. Yeah, 5A. D. La Salle, the only one, stepped down. Day 3A. They stepped down. But uh, the powerhouses on the 5A, really, you know, fucking Catholic of Baton Rouge yeah, making yeah. it to the championship every year. But I would have liked to see if Catholic of Baton Rouge would have beat them boys Parkway or would have beat them boys uh, in Baton Rouge. What's them boys? Z- Zachary. Powerhouse in Baton Rouge. Two two championships in like the last eight years. Zachary. Coming with it. You got Destra Hand. They just had the number one running back in the country. Emery. John Emery. He, he, he the... Uh, second strength for LSU right now. But, yeah, man, Catholic of Baton Rouge and Curtis meeting in the championship every year because it's select. Knowing they wouldn't have been beating, you know, John Jefferson them was, yeah. You know, we knew about John Jefferson. Fucking right. The world ain't know. We knew that the that skinny little boy from Destrehan. Kick return, everything. Wildcat, everything. Yeah, <laughs> he been a dog. Then you know, like you got your high bills, like Puka Williams. Remember when Puka made it to the chip? Puka cut up. They say nobody ever really had a season like him. Something he did. I fuck with Puka. He yeah. gonna make Cincinnati team. He remind me of Percy Harvin or somebody. You know, but he strict. You know, he's more running back, but. No, they put they using him in the slot right now. The slot, running back, and kick return. Yeah, he's he losing that fuck with Puka. Undrafted free agent. I think they're gonna sign Puka. And then you know him and uh Chase out the same hood. Chase gonna vouch for him. And the coach of city like him too. Chase gonna vouch for that. Not saying that. You know, Chase I got a little say so. I Puka got drafted. He was I went undrafted. Uh-uh, undrafted. I know they picked him up soon. They picked ass, him up so. soon as though. Right. Man, Puka cold, boy. That's why I say you got your hind bills. You got your duster hand, man. You got your birds up there in street port. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got Evangel. You got, uh, I could just keep naming them on and on, bro. It just ain't right if all of them ain't together. Like. And, you know, I I know the Catholic schools kind of cry for it, but I know they won't out now. They losing their players and everything behind this select thing. Some of them schools on their plan, like, they missing out on, like, three games they can play or some shit with that select shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told you, everybody go to the playoffs in the select. Shaw was 1-10. in 10. 
in the Cali League. Yeah, and you're in the playoff. Look, that number one and number two got to buy. First week. One and two got to buy first week, man. You know what I'm saying? And then they be having a buy again the week before the championship. They have another buy. Yeah, sure we They be having two buys. When in the real bracket with the 32 teams in it, <laughs> with, the, with the public school, you got to win five games to get to the dome. <laughs> That's crucial. <laughs> but you got a team who just won two games to get to the dome, beating their chest, talking about their champion. Man, bro. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have, I'd have been said it. I'd have been like, man, you know, we won this championship, but, man, you know, I wish we could be playing Bob. High school sports. Just like, man. you know. Best atmosphere out there, man. Javante Smart, he won all them championships, man. And the select dude. Dude wouldn't won no fucking four championships in a row, boy. Not in that round of 32. It's just too hard. Not in that 32. No, it's called the top 28 in basketball. Yeah, Wasn't it that with you? It's the top 28. Yeah, it's the top 28. Yeah, the top 28. Man, that shit hard. Fucking right. <laughs> top 28 hard, boy. <laughs> what? I want to see. Uh, we had to go to full sheet. Kind of good, come on, man. Right. Play all game, we in full sheet. Say no. <clears throat> yeah. yeah standing room only. Yeah, standing room only. Street, nothing. My but dog, El Cristo. El Cristo. Then you couldn't play. Yeah, nah, That's I when they went play. to the final yeah. four. Yeah, they beat it. Yeah. They lost to the Woodlawn. Woodlong. Woodlong beat him. Had the 266 six niggas, remember? Oh, and I think, see, everybody had y'all going to the championship because I think y'all beat Woodlong in Ooh. a tournament or something. All right. Woodlong was like 50 something new. Them last couple of years. They won it the year before. Either they won it or Brother Martin beat them that beat year. Y'all beat a real good team that year. A top no, team. No, we was a top team, though. But Woodlong, we ain't never meet Woodlong. We, uh, you said they were 56 in North Dakota. They I were remember back seeing back them in champion. a tournament. We was in a tournament or something. I remember they played before. I don't, I don't think we played them, though. I remember them, they ain't lose in the last, in the last two years or something. Yeah, they were dominating around that time. What yeah. long? They won that bitch that year. What long? The four shit lost to them in the final four. They won, they won it. They beat Brother Martin, I think. Mm -hmm. And Brother Martin come back and beat us the next year. Yeah, yeah when Aaron is Mr. Layup. Her blank layup to win the game. All he had to do was dunk that bitch. Him and the goal. That nigga cried like a baby, boy. For the chip. Out there in Lafayette. I was at the game. Yeah. Man, bro. You know. So we got, man. So, signs that went up 2 0. Chris Paul had another good game. Giannis did his thing. Chris Middleton them. And look like they eight, setting nine, it up. Point, like, ten points. like Devin Booker be going off, but I noticed like he kind of taking the back seat to CP3 right now. Like CP3 going to get the finals MVP and everything. Yeah. He going to get it. At now. this pace. At yeah. this pace, he going to get the finals MVP. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what's up for Chris Paul, bro. I fuck with Chris Paul. I, I got him up there. I just saw some some people putting it up with Steph Curry, this and that. You know. I think he point. the second best point guard we've seen since Magic. Chris Paul. I can't name nobody else better. See, the only person I would put I is fuck Isaiah. I fucking with Penny, though. Is Isaiah. Penny just ain't do it long. Isaiah yeah, was Penny a just ain't demon, do it long. Penny was my favorite. No, Isaiah used to be putting up 40 and shit on Mike and them and Magic and, them and Bird and them and whoever the fuck was in the way. Like, like my daddy said he the best of all time. 
Isaiah. My daddy said Isaiah was better than Magic to him. You see what I'm saying? Period. Growing like, up, Isaiah he was a league of man. Nigga, he like, said Magic couldn't fuck with Zeke. Isaiah was that nigga. Look. See, Isaiah was more Steph Curry, not in a shooting way, but in that they bigger than a point guard. Look. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they the point. But Isaiah might have 50 tonight, man. Some shit happened. 45 tonight. Look, it was 1979. He, him and my daddy did both scenes together. He was in front of the sports industry or whatever that shit is, right? Isaiah Thomas was going to be the first nigga out of high school to go start on the Olympic team, not play. Because they have, remember back then? That's how Leighton was on the dream team. They used to have like one, two niggas, freshmen in college. 1979, Isaiah was about to play something happen, and they, they, they shut the Olympics down in 79 or 80 or whatever. But Isaiah was going to be starting on that team, boy, 18 years old. Hmm. My daddy, like, Zeke was crossing them over in 79. Beep, beep, beep. He said he was his favorite, bro. Man, I said, Isaiah was a dog, man. Isaiah was a dog. Look. They got a game, bro. This man's leg was wrapped up. Curtis Angle, yeah. He literally beat them people like this shit. Oh, it's skipping up, Skipping up the court. Like this. Yeah, like 40 or something that up, game, nigga. man. He beat them like that. 40 something. He beat them like that. And then, see, this is where they give my respect at. One of them years, they swept the Lakers. For nothing. People don't talk about that. They, I want to make sure I ain't putting out bad low. They swept the Lakers one year. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The man was playing with Mike now. Magic, Bird. Yeah, he, he the bad boy in Detroit, but he was, that, he was the guy. Yeah. Four-game sweep, 1989. They beat the Lakers for nothing. Word to them. For nothing. And after that, that's when MJ came got them. In 90, the next year, they beat Drexler now, Portland. Clifford Robinson now. MJ had to go through them though. The young Rasheed Wallace and them and shit. Portland was good. Real good. Portland was good, boy. Uh, Portland and them and all that. Terry Portland and them, boy. Mm -hmm. Portland was good. Was Sam Perkins on that team too at Portland? I think no. Sam Perkins. Sam right. was on that Seattle. Sam was with Seattle because they went to the chip in '93. With Gary Payton, now. Gary Payton, now. Nate McMillan, now. Dudley Shrimp. Sean Kemp. Oh, that's on that same team. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But boy. With with that with that Pelican situation though, I think we lost him, see. We lost him, bro. Unless I, I, we I got get feed in him, bro. I got feed in him, man. You're not about to let no no generational player leave up out of here without. We trying. let one leave. Who? A D. Yeah, but I think Zion is more of a Wow, the AD. What's up with our coaching search? <laughs> Cause that all that's gonna matter. All that's gonna matter. Even though AD was the guy, I think Zion exceeded what AD did his first little year too. Now look, dude, a certified vet. Now used to fuck with his game, Willie Green. See, that's basketball niggas. Now, I never heard his name come up or whatever, but Willie Green probably could coach his ass off. He played 15 years in the league. Bro, Willie Green, Philadelphia and shit, man. With us, with the Hornets. Uh huh. Yeah, huh? he was on that team with CP3 with Pedro and Stalyaka Visnip. He used to come, like, do his thing off the bench for us, Willie Green. Charles Lee, Willie Green. Yeah, see, that's him with CP3 on the bench, on that picture with the horn. They, like, come back to the horn. But 
What you think? Think CP gonna stay in Phoenix? You could pull a Kawhi or win it over there. See, but guess what? And go to the Lakers. I heard seven. somebody say they could even be more dangerous next year. They don't really got no max players. They got money. Phoenix got money right now. Think about Shit, it. They got, book they, they got CP3, they got Booker, but what I'm saying is like they got a few dollars. Everybody else on rookie deals and shit. They got some money. They could tweak their roster and go get something. Be done. You know, because to me, you're not getting back to the championship next year with this team. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all need a piece, another piece. About to call you. Yeah. Uh, Booker and Chris Paul, though, I mean, got to pick Chris, Chris Paul. Chris Paul really contract ain't really, yeah. He like Chris Paul can like pay the most in the league, man. No, but he like on a two year. He getting paid like the most in the league. You know what you mean? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck if it's one year. Right. He getting 35, 40 million, like, you know. And we can't, you're not gonna not take the money. I just want a chip. I'm like that. Mm -hmm. I ain't about to just go to the Lakers and take a pay cut track. when I know. Uh, we could do this shit right again. Think? I think it'll be hard for him to leave because you got Devin Booker right there. You got A, you got some young cats, which ain't like you got dudes who right. he ain't gonna need to leave and shit. Uh -uh. Yeah, they form too much of a bond. He ain't going to leave them dudes, but he'll look good in Boston. With Brown and Tatum. Kimba, Kimba gone. Boston going to make the splash now. You know, that's why they let Kimba go to free up their money. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. And you know, they, they said Boston. OKC planning on doing the same thing with Kimba they did with CP3. Trading them. Damn. Uh. Yeah, man. We gonna wrap it up, dude, man. We got the Suns up two two zero. Gonna heading back to Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? They gonna fight. You dig? Milwaukee gonna, gonna, fight, gonna fight. I see it in, done in five, four, or five, dude. <laughs> for sure. I don't think CP gonna play with him like that. I think Booker do for a big game. In Milwaukee, he probably going to give you 40 and win one. CP and him going to probably, uh, yeah, I think they're going to sweep him, bro. But, yeah, bro, we're going to give you that on the next show. It may be over the next show. We don't know. <laughs> Shout out High Mo off the me, you heard me? You did Smoking Sports, man. We out. We out, baby.